This week on Makers Lab TV, learn how to silt screen on t-shirts. So I came up with my own technique to do multicolored screen printing. And if you want to see how I made this, stick around. The design I've chosen here is a zebra and the print is going to look really cool so I decided to add a little bit more, same name but just bringing it further down so we have multiple zebras. From that we can move over to cutting it on our plain blue vinyl. Once it's cut out we can now weed it and then prep it for putting it onto our screen. we can now put it onto our screen, which we had previously stretched perfectly like a drum. Make sure to have it evenly in the center so that when we do our block out tape that we cover all areas that we don't want the ink to go through to our t-shirt. Once we have applied our vinyl to our screen we can now remove our backing tape and add the blocking tape to prevent any ink from spilling through. From there we now have to set up our station that we want to add our t-shirt to and then start silk screening. And always remember to have some form of adhesive to hold down the t-shirt so it doesn't move while silk screening. So your screen printer has just arrived and you need help to assemble it. Well, just go to sortit.co.za and watch the how to assemble videos for the four panel and the six panel screen printers from am.co.za as well as many other helpful videos on am.co.za products. Before we do anything, I always like to make sure my flash dryer is to temperature. Over 150 degrees is perfect. Once we've carefully aligned our screen to where we want it, all we've got to do now is just add the ink that we want. And for today, I'm going to be adding all the colors I've basically got here, just to make a mirage of colors and see how they blend in with each other to do a multicolored screen print. The first color I'm going to do is blue. And slowly I'm going to add our yellow, green and then red, making sure I've got enough ink on our screen so that we don't run out during our process of printing. Just before we flood our screen at a 45 degree angle, you need to make sure that you have your screen raised above the t-shirt so no ink then touches it and you spoil your print. And you want to flood your screen with medium pressure over the screen with a 45 degree angle, pushing that ink into all those gaps where it's now open. From that, you can now put your screen down completely on the t-shirt and then push through with your squidgy one more time to push all the ink through your screen onto your shirt. Now for the moment of truth. Let's lift our screen and wow that looks really good. Now all we need to do is put that underneath our flash drive for a good 10 seconds. Once it's come out of our dryer and yo, it's looking really nice. And now all we need to do from here is just heat press the shirt to make sure we seal it. And I don't want to waste all my ink, so I'm going to now do it on a black shirt. So all I need to do now is put my black t-shirt onto the panel, make sure it's securely flat. Again, put down our screen so we make sure it's not touching. We flood our screen. From there we put our screen down and then we push through all the ink that we've just flooded onto our screen. There you go. All we're going to do is pick up our screen 
and awesome. That looks really cool on a black shirt as well. Now off to the dryer for another 10 seconds. Once it's come out of our dryer, that looks really, really cool. I'm very happy with both the white and black t-shirts. Look how precise the print is. It looks colorful, it's nice and durable. It's gonna last a long time. Silk screening is truly an art form on its own and I'm really loving it at the moment. And I really hope I've inspired you to try something new. Just go for it. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Plobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, The tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says Great company, great products and very well priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za Achievement matters.